Meanwhile, with another heat wave hitting the tri-state, experts have some important advice to follow when it become when it comes to being safe. Of course, the best way to handle the heat is to stay inside an air conditioned area. But if you have to be outside, you should wear light colored, loose fitting clothing, stick to shady areas and of course use sunscreen. It's also important to stay hydrated. Experts say that's something you should be working on even before you go out in the heat. Drinking a lot of water, drinking enough water um, at a minimum eight glasses or 64 ounces. And then if you're going to be outside in the heat, outside doing things, obviously you're going to want to add to that 64 ounces. That's your daily recommended water intake outside of doing anything extenuous or outside in the heat. If you'll be spending time outside and don't go alone, keep an eye on your companies, especially children and the elderly. It's important to remember, though, heat exhaustion and heat stroke can happen to anyone. If you're starting to see you know, your kid or your spouse or a friend's skin starting to get flush or red, it's obvious that they need to probably try to relax a little bit, get into the shade and, and start drinking some more water. Now, if somebody is showing signs of heat, exhaustion, heavy sweating, fainting, faintness or dizziness, nausea or headache, get them somewhere cool and have them drink water. If they don't feel better within an hour or their symptoms get worse, call a doctor. Heat stroke, on the other hand, needs immediate medical attention. Signs of heat stroke include confusion, slurring speech, fainting and hot and dry skin. If you see someone showing these signs, call 911. Stay with the person until help arrives and cool them off quickly with ice water or an ice bath.